The thermal conductivity of a copper rod is measured using Angstrom's method. A periodic square wave of heat is applied to a reservoir at one end of the rod, while the other end is left at room temperature. As the heat wave propagates down the rod, it is attenuated, losing amplitude and experiencing a phase shift. Connect the heater to the data analyzer and now connect the temperature sensors to the sensor 1 and sensor 2 on data analyzer as shown in the video. In this apparatus, we have two modes to select, let's select the first one and proceed. This apparatus is designed to accommodate periodic heating to the one end of copper rod, and the display shows the corresponding temperatures at their respective times. Applying a periodic heat to one end of a rod produces a heat wave that propagates down the length of the rod, which can be measured by the difference in temperature. The display shows the temperature fluctuations, measured by the two thermistors, and certain properties of how the wave propagates down the rod. When the temperatures are graphed against time, it is clear that, the temperature wave measured by the thermistor, closer to the heater, has an amplitude much larger, and a mean temperature higher than the thermistor located farther away. In addition to the difference in amplitude, the phase is slightly different for the two waves, with the wave at the near thermistor slightly trailing that of the far thermistor. Also, the frequency is the same for both waves, which corresponds to the frequency of the square wave input by the frequency generator to the heater. The Fourier transform of the data is calculated and graphs are plotted and the specific heat is calculated using the formulas. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video please do subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest updates.